Shout out, give all praise, y'all, Bashim, y'all, shout out, Bashim, Makakadash. Honor the eldest possible men in the truth, one down, one's like minded. We're teaching the truth for knowledge, so we know it's truth for knowledge. At the Wadi Al Bashim, y'all, shout out, putting the spirit, elders and apostles, men in the truth, one down, like minded ones. For teaching the truth for knowledge, so we can know it's truth for knowledge and call all y'all, y'all, Bashim, y'all, shout out, Bashim, Makakadash. Give all praise, y'all, Bashim, y'all, shout out, Bashim, Makakadash. Matthews uh, 10 and 16. When we get the KJV. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So, the sheep, which is a docile animal, it's going to be in the midst of wolves, man, which desire to eat the sheep. Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. So, the appearance of innocence relates to your conduct, your mannerism, your ways. In the midst of, of very hostile, very hostile, very precarious environment, man. This lesson related to, uh, you know, a video related to... Um, Incident in Chicago related to a uh, Hebrew Israelite group, W uh, Watchman for Israel, and um, related to uh, Palestinian groups during the protests. And um, this is my take on it, you know. So, personally, they probably shouldn't have been there, you know what I mean? You know, so, you know, because of the, you know, obvious situation. And um, so, because the tensions relating to what's going on with those individual groups, what they're going through in their respective, you know, their home back home, and um, just being in that environment, and why would you put yourself in a, a very hostile environment, man? You know what I mean? So, behold, I'll send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be he, therefore, wise as serpents, harmless as doves. You know what I mean? So, we're going to get it from a GNT. You know? For GNT, listen, I am sending you out. I'm gonna send you out like sheep to a pack of wolves. You must be as cautious as snakes that goes to having their wisdom like a snake, a serpent, and gentle as doves, which is harmless, man. So you're gonna be sent out in the midst of certain environments. You wanna conduct yourself, you don't you wanna have the appearance of innocence. An appearance of a, a non-threatful manner, man. So, they have a right to be where they want to be, congregate where they want to be, you know. But, why would you go into a hostile environment that can, you know, hostile environment such as being in the middle of a protest area? If they're protesting, maybe you should move somewhere else, man. That's common sense. You don't need spiritual spiritual common sense to understand that. You know, if it looks like that may, this may not be the right environment to do certain things, man. You know what I mean? Because potentially certain things could escalate. Those people, they're in a, they feel a certain manner. They feel in a certain way. They are already amped up about their situation. So the last thing they want is somebody, whether indirectly, directly, trying to antagonize them or just do it, have the appearance of anything. Doesn't say they were doing that related to WFI. Because they probably, you know, I mean, they got their own reason. They know, they know their own reason why they, why they were there. And that's between them and themselves and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, I mean, they know that they know at heart why they were there. You know, I mean, so. Um. But in the times that we're in, you had to be careful, man, because 
certain people all they need is, is uh, am, some kind of ammunition to look for a justification to do certain things against certain people they don't like anyway you know what I mean and I'm talking about Hebrew Israelites man they don't like they don't like you man they don't like what you say how you say it the manner you say it how you display it how you convey the message they do not like you so they're looking for an excuse to do something man so for a pen, the appearance of ministry ministerial sake the ministry's sake and yourselves you put yourself in a dangerous situation where you think you didn't or not man you did you know what I mean it wasn't wise man Listen, I am sending you out just like a sheep to a pack of wolves. Pack of wolves want to do something to that sheep, man. You're that sheep. You're docile. Sheep is a docile individual, uh, ass animal, man. They're not a. They're not really a fighting uh, type of animal, man. They're docile. They're very meek. You know what I mean? They need protection, man. You know what I mean? That's why they have a shepherd over that sheep. Sheep can't fight for themselves, man. Listen, I'm sending you out like a sheep to a pack of wolves. You must be cautious. You got to be cautious, man. And that goes to being vigilant, being wise, man. As snakes. Snake is a serpent, man. A snake is very wise, man. Just like a dragon. Very wise. And gentle as doves, man. They gentle as doves, man. Be gentle as doves, man. Doves is harmless, man. They harmless, man. Just like that sheep is harmless, man. Let's continue on. Only the individuals involved know, you know, as a collective, know why they were there. You know what I mean? Speculation and all that. They know in heart why they were there and what their true intention was, man. And only they have to answer for that. You know what I mean? You know, they know why they were there. You know, we could, many people could speculate. Maybe they were there trying to, you know, for attention, man. To be the center of attention or just to be there because a certain other group were there. Or be there because, you know... Because uh, they were there, you know what I mean? Sometimes people do certain things, man, you know what I mean? But at heart, they know why they were there, you know what I mean? But of all places to go, but you go go where you want, you know what I mean? But why you would go there, you know what I mean? Specifically, especially at that particular time, it's very conveniently suspicious, man, in a matter of speaking. Let's go to... Um, Ephesians, I'm not going to make this a long lesson. Just giving my take on it. You know what I mean? Because ultimately, as a collective, it puts it'll put blame on the ministry as a whole, man. Where it just gives justification for certain people to go after certain groups who they don't like anyway. And they're looking for a reason to go after them, man. Now, under the Project Megiddo, which is the Equip uh, Cohen Toll Pro, um, Cohen, Co Co Intel Pro, which is Project Megiddo, they label have certain groups. You got the extremist groups, the KKK, and you also have what you call your religious fanatical groups. That was back in 1999, related to that Project Megiddo, man. You know what I mean? So the Hebrew Israelites would be in that category, man. You know what I mean? They in that category. Zealots and dif different fanatical rig religious groups, the camps and stuff. They look at them as that, man. They lay, put that under that categorization, under that label, man. So you want to have a certain appearance already, man. You know what I mean? Appearance of fighting and all that. That's not a good look. I'm going to get off. Um, scripture talks about abstain from the appearance of evil. Abstain, refrain. Do not do. You know what I mean? Um, I'll get it. Because it all boils down to conduct, man. And, and wisdom, man. That's what that boils down to, man. But test them. Test. But test them all. Hold on what is good. And reject everything. And reject kind of evil. Hold on what is good, which is the good, man. And reject all kinds of what? Evil, and that really, in this matter, is begin to stain from the appearance of evil, man. That's 
just a different variation. I'm going to get it from um, a KJV. You know? That was 21. Let me say, abstain. Abstain from all appearance of evil. That's from the optics, man. All stain, all appearance of evil. Fighting. Fighting out there with other... That's not spiritual, man. You know what I mean? And it has a bad look. Not for just the collective of those respected camps and organizations, but as a whole, man. It doesn't look... It's not a good look, man. And you're not out there to be a thug or a gangbanger or a bully, man. You're out there just to read the scriptures, man. Try to make people understand relating to what the scriptures the meaning of these scriptures man that's it that's all you're doing man abstain from all appearance of evil abstain what's that word abstain mean let's get that word abstain restrain refrain from doing decline refused from, to, to, from doing that's the words Abstain. Restrain oneself from doing or enjoying something, man. And that all builds down to self-control, man. A self-control, man. Abstain. 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 Yeah, abstain. So that's what that goes to, man. Because just to be honest, you know, they don't like you out there anyway. You know, they don't like what you say, how you say it. They don't like your they don't like uh, your presence out there. So you got a lot of negatives naturally against you, but so you don't need to add on more negatives that are already out there, whether directly or indirectly, but you know what I mean? Not just uh, just as a collective, even your own people, man. They don't like you. They don't like you speaking this stuff. They don't like the way you say it. They don't like the, the language you use. They don't like um, they don't like the the mannerism, uh, how you convey the message. You know what I mean? Even though you're trying to help them, man. But they don't want you know what I mean. So your own people, everybody against you, man. You know what I mean? It's just what it is, man. But you're out there to help them understand relating to the scriptures, man. That's all you're doing, man. So why uh, WFI, Watchmen for Israel, you know, be fighting out there, you know, round two. That would be why. That would be very unwise, man. And you might not be lucky on the second time, man. I'm just saying, man. Because you lucked out on the first time, but the second time, you know, something can happen. The Lord can make something happen against you doing it on the second time. Where it won't be in your favor. You lucked up the first time, man. So, learn from the experience from from that era, and just you know I me. Mean? Learn from that and just move on, man. You know. See that ye walk circumspect. Be circumspect, man. Paying attention to what's going on, man. Be walk. See that ye walk circumspect, not as fools as wise. Redeeming the times because the days are evil. These days are evil, man. You see all kinds of things happening, man. Things globally, internationally, locally. You know what I mean? We're in evil times, man. We in precursors of World War Three. You know what I mean? A lot of things are going on, man. It's not a, it's not a really safe time, man. That's why you have to be circumspect, being vigilant, being watchful, man. Here it is again. See that ye walk circumspectly. 
So you got to walk circle. You got to walk a certain way. Conduct yourself a certain way. Move a certain way. Your mannerism, your ways, man. You know what I mean? Because it's not really safe out here like that, man. See that he walks circle spec and not his fool. So don't be a fool. Be wise and you're moving how you walk, your mannerism, your ways, your conduct, your behavior, man. Redeem the times because the days are evil. Because the days are evil. So it's, it's telling you to be cautious, be weary, be mindful, man. Because of the times that we're in, man. Um, let me see what the NIV is. This is something short, man. You look like a bunch of uh, gangbang thugs, man. You know what I mean? You're just out there preaching the word, man. With a book, man. The book has already enough power out there. Of, um, you know, relating to cutting through the spirit, man. You know, I mean, certain people getting condemned, being, you know, be making people feel work a certain way spiritually, man. Um, number, um, number 15. Getting it from. Be very careful then how you live. Not as unwise, but as wise. So be careful how you live, man. How you live, how you move. And it's really just being just being just being aware of certain things. Making the most of every opportunity. Making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil, man. That goes with the times. Because the times and the time and seasons evil, man. So make them the most opportunity while you can, man. You know. Um, like I said before, only they know the real reason why they were out there to to do that. And why would you go out there to to, to go? A second round that means you want something to happen <laughs> and it might not be in your favor that wouldn't be wise man you know what I mean if somebody telling uh, one of authority supposed to get the authority telling you to you know go go do that man that's not wise man you know what I mean that's like the uh, line, blind leaving the blind they both fall in the ditch man you know what I mean that's what's going to happen both y'all going to fall in the ditch you follow that individual man you can't always be monkey see, monkey do, man. You got to have your own mind, common sense, your own individual common sense, your mind, and, you know, you still you still got a brain to think, man. You know what I mean? You know, and to uh, rationalize and to uh, analyze certain situations was whether it's the best or not, man. That's why the Lord gave you that brain, man. Use it, man. Use the common sense, man. Because once you see one do it, don't mean you all, all y'all have to do it, man. You know what I mean? Use common sense, man. Use common sense, man. You can't do that monkey see, monkey do. You know what I mean? You can't do that, man. You can't do that. You can't You can't be following everybody where everybody do, man. You know what I mean? And it matters, especially if it's not the best best of your interest, man. You know? It's a lot for rambling, but, you know, like you said, uh, like, they supposed to be spiritual, man. That's the whole idea. You just out there to preach the word, as scripture says, man. Preach the word, man. You're preaching, you know, as scripture, you're commanded to do certain things, man. We did it. Let's see if it's this one.
anyway, this was um, something short, you know, I was trying to find something. All right. So uh, relating to that, you know, so, you know, um, yeah, it's not a good look. So, you know, it's not a good look. So and it puts it puts a, a bad negative image to the ministry, man. You know, I mean, um, leave not and say. Second Corinthians six and three. Give no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. So give not no offense, man. Do nothing that can can from the optics give a negative appearance to the ministry, such as fighting, for example. And give no occasion or stumbling in anything that are administration be not blamed so you don't want the ministry being blamed for a lot of nonsense man because you're out there just to preach the word man that's it you're not out there to to uh purposely uh engage with opposition you know that really has nothing to do with you man you know what i mean that's that's another you know that's another 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 situation another problem man that, that's, that doesn't get, pertain to you. So, do nothing that, you know, you shouldn't even be even near that area. You know, I mean, you shouldn't be, be nowhere near there, man. So the point is, man, give no offense to anything that the ministry be not blamed. And that's a collective, man. Because like I said, that will give certain people justification. All they need is a few bad apples and say, yeah, they all like that. They are a problem. We have to do something about them. That's it. That's all they need. Bro. And they might do that anyway. Without your without your aid or assistance. But don't do it. Don't, don't you know, further fuel the fire that's already, you know, burning anyway, man. So or or you know, add more lighter fluid to it, man. So that being said, this is just something short. You know, relating to that, you know, I mean, um, because just, just overall, it's what we're supposed to be spiritual, but you know, I mean, especially relating to our conduct, our mannerism, because we ambassadors are supposed to be ambassadors of Yahweh Bashim Yasha, you know, I mean, ambassadors, attache, attache, ambassadors, uh, representatives, man. So we had to. That goes to uh, carrying ourselves in a certain manner, man. In everything, in every aspect, and that conduct goes to everything, you know. And that being said, I'll give all praise, y'all. Bashim, y'all, shabashim, kaka, da, zaya, wolf, shalom.